folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 428, NASDAQ is off 449, SP is off 93, gold contract down $3.30 at 1807 an ounce. We have silver down 31 cents, $22.39 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 97, trading $90.23 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note right now trading down 14 ticks. 127.22, the 30 year off a full point at 155 flat, and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 564 ticks, trading 95.372. Euro's at 114, yen is at 114.90, and the British pound is at 135 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One note's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look. And what do you have? Well, we got quite a day out here, that's for sure. Now, what's so intriguing, big time, though, is that you have price destruction, but you don't have volume behind the move. So people are nervous. There's no two ways about that. But when you take a look at this, uh, what, what you're going to see here, well, here, well, let me show you something else, too, first. This is pretty cool. When I was looking at this this morning, okay. So what we did, folks, is that, you know, we went to a, just about an exact 0.382, I mean a 0.618 off the bottom. Now the way this works, okay, so Fibonacci contraction expansion theory. When you go to a 0.618 off the bottom, that's a strong bounce. And when you do a 0.618, what that also says is that you're not going to go bust the bottom on the first leg back down. When I put that together with the, the amount of of light volume out here today. It's like, okay, we get jobs numbers tomorrow. We know jobs numbers are going to be no, no good. Maybe they bring it down to uh, 442 or 447. You get light volume. That's it. That's saying we're not done on the way up yet either. Pretty wild, man. I mean, and the NASDAQ goes right along with it. If we take a look at the NDX 100, what you're going to see, destruction, no doubt. Uh, bottom line, you know, we closed last night at the three Qs with 368. You're trading right now down at uh, 355, and the the three Qs will have more volume, okay? But this is what you have. As you're coming down, you're coming down into the highs of the lows that we had traded for five days. And it's going to be really tough to get through that, those whole levels. The first level is uh, three, 353 to 352. Um, you know, we'll see how the baby shakes out, but that's how that's laid out right now. Gold. We look at the gold contract. You heard what I said when we were, if you were there when we were doing the update. This one was really intriguing. Um, it, it always blows my mind what they can do inside of the gold market. And the thing that's amazing today, though, this is what was so amazing about it, is that, so let's take a look at it. So right now, gold is down $3.70. Okay, when you look at this intraday, look at, look at this inter intraday at a, let's see, what time is it? What's that, 9 o'clock? No, 11 o'clock, what's it? At 9.50, at 9.50, okay, the, bo the bottom line is that they, they took the, um, the gold contract down big, right? And the amazing part about it is that as that was going down, the Bank of Eng the Bank of Europe, the, the Bank of England was raising rates, <laughs> and the dollar was tanking beyond belief. So I was like, "Okay, man." Needless to say, folks. Okay, it took all of uh, a few minutes down at the bottom, and it takes off like a rocket ship from 1788 all the way up to this 1806. So more than likely, what this was all about is that that was just a shakeout. Get as many people. This is in the futures market now. Okay, that that thing is brutal. This actually traded like silver today. Uh, bottom line, check it out. They probably had all the bids down underneath. Uh, you can see the the first leg down took you to uh, seventeen eighty nine. You know, so there's probably bids down there. Shake it out. They wanted it cheaper. Brought it all the way back topside.
We go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. What you're going to see inside the dollar is you're getting real follow through downtown. You know, we were talking about the false break top side, bottom line, um, and four days, which is pretty amazing, actually. Uh, you're almost down to the lowest swing point, which is the uh, 96, 629. You know, the, the dollar today is, we're down 563 ticks, but from the tops to the lows, <coughs> excuse me, folks, we are uh, down over 700, 800 ticks. This dollar might take here, we want to go down to 89. That's where this wants to go. If we go over to the euro, we take a look at the euro. What you're going to see is just the opposite. Euro goes topside in a big way. Bottom line, the euro is up 129 ticks. We're at uh, 114, and this will start making its way into the 115. Uh, Once you get into 115, next move up there is 119. We go take a look at the British pound. British pound out here. This is up 15 ticks, not as much as the euro, but bottom line is, the, you know, it's up. Um, that is looking for the top of its range, which is 137 up to the 139. Yen, let's go look at the yen. Now, the yen went the, the, yen went the opposite way, meaning the yen got stronger. Uh, we're 45 ticks inside the yen, and we'll see how that shakes out. The yen didn't break down, that's for sure. You know, so we'll see how that yen is doing. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities, and we get a lot of them. So it's going to be really interesting here. Big deal out here, Facebook, Meta Platforms. That's down 86 bucks. You get Snap off $7. You have uh, Apple off of buck forty six. PayPal's down $8.20. You get NVIDIA down eight seventy. Qualcomm's down five fifty. Um, Roblox is down four eighty. You get Block down 13 You get Uber Technologies off uh, 2 you so what we, what we do see out here is they, they're whacking the growth stocks in a monster way. Now, let's go over to Amazon because what we are going to have after the close out here, Amazon's going to come out with numbers. Uh, Amazon is going to be, Amazon's down 228 bucks right now. Amazon is going to be looking to bring $137 billion to the top line, and they're going to be looking for $3.70 to the bottom line. The difference with Amazon, this is really, so, so watch. They've already told folks that, hey, listen, man, we're going to make a lot less money. And it took in a, high, a much higher gross. So we'll see how this market uh, reacts when Amazon comes out. And what Amazon does, Amazon comes out with their numbers split seconds after the 4 o'clock time frame. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.